it's, it's quite common in a building of this age to find that the lower part of the baseboard was painted dark. All through the 18th century we find that. Here in the early 19th century, we're reaching the point where people are stopping this practice. Indeed, in the neighboring drawing room here, they don't have a dark lower baseboard. We're in a hallway here. It gets more, it gets more wear, and it's simply easier to, to keep it clean. My grandmother always referred to these as mop boards. And indeed, you're mopping the floor, and this part gets dirty, the upper part doesn't. So the, the 18th century and early 19th century solution was to have a dark treatment on the lower part of the baseboard. So when I looked through the field scope and saw this base paint over which was a dark red-brown, very thin layer, it struck me as a probable graining. I've exposed this, and we have exactly the same treatment as this on the window seats and the shelves beside the front door. If I wet it, you'll see it just a little, just a little better there. And what you see here, this off-white paint is the first overpaint, the paint that obscured it. And in this small area, you see the painted grain. Well, that may look like wood. In fact, the wood that's actually under here is a much yellower looking softwood. Uh, even with people who had obvious means, as the builders of this house did, uh, it's not at all uncommon for them to trump up a softer wood to look like that more expensive hardwood. It's always exciting to uncover something that's not in living memory, that somebody, that, that people are not aware that it's there. Uh, there. There's an exhilaration to it. It's one of the reasons why I do this work. We're very near the completion of the project. The major construction work has, has been finished. Even the, the, all of the trim painting is, is, is at completion. We're putting on the faux graining, which was discovered on the baseboards and other trim elements in this hallway. What we've just completed here is, is the first uh, coat of glaze on, on this baseboard. Um, this, the, this graining is actually done in two uh, coats of, of colored glaze. Uh, the, first, the first coat really establishes the direction of the grain, the major lights and darks of the grain. Um, and the second pass is done with a color that's a slight bit more brown in it, not quite as much burnt sienna. And it's done with much more of a fluttery motion so that the spaces are broken up into little fibers. Uh, it, it gives them more of the fibered element of the graining. It's been wonderful working in this house. It's a, it's a beautiful old house. It's a landmark in Portland. The fact that these kinds of places are being restored and that we can have this kind of stuff to look at is, is wonder, a wonderful thing.